Hey guys, I often get asked uh, what I do with all the old oil that I get out of my tractors and machinery when I give them an oil change. A certain amount of it I put through a fabric filter and I use it in, in my old chainsaws, uh, just the chain bar lube. I probably only use like a couple of litres a year for that. And I use a certain amount for treating timber as well because you can use old oil for treating timber to keep the bore out. But yeah, it is pretty messy and not as good as the commercial treatment. But I only use a small amount for that really and I usually end up with quite a bit of oil left over um, at the end of the year. I mentioned in one of my recent videos that one day I might get a centrifuge and have a go at cleaning it up. And a friend saw the video and he's lent me a centrifuge to see how well it cleans up the oil. The worst case scenario I just end up getting like a cleaner chain bar lube, I don't know, but yeah, I think it's definitely worth a try and it's good to be able to borrow one um, before I buy one as well because they're not that cheap. You pour your old oil into here and um, it comes down this pipe and you've got a tap here to regulate the flow and there's a nozzle at the bottom. You get this inner bowl spinning and you let the oil come through this tap. It fills up the bowl and then all the particles and uh, rubbish gets flicked to the outside of the bowl. The clean oil comes up from the top here and flicks to the outside of this outer bowl and then comes down through this pipe here. And when you're finished you, you turn it off and all the rubbish comes out the bottom of the inner bowl through the holes at the bottom and out out of this pipe here. So that's the, the waste oil outlet. So I'm going to give it a spin today and um, see how well it works. I've got a lot of... you telling me how it works, are you? Yep, that spins. I use diesel to clean certain parts, so I've got a lot of used dirty diesel uh, in containers and a lot of old uh, hydraulic oil which I've drained out of machines over the years. We'll give it a try and see what it does. It should definitely get um, the heavier rubbish out of it, but I don't think it'll you know, come fully clean again. So I'll try use diesel oil first of all. That's quite filthy as you can see. I don't know if that'll clean up, but we'll have a go. Should run right from the power from the turbine, I think. It's just 240 volts. Yeah, it's away. That's about half speed there. Tip it on and see what happens. Gradually let it through. There we go. Yeah, it is coming through. I guess it's a matter of finding the right speed and not pushing it through too fast. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that's still quite dirty, but there's a bit of crap still in the pipe, so let's try a little bit more speed there. It's quite well balanced. Yeah, that's cleaned up a little bit since I boosted the speed, but it's still pretty filthy. seal was leaking quite a bit around the outside. I'll put it back on and put some duct tape around the edge just to keep keep the oil in because I don't want it leaking everywhere. Uh, but before I do that I'm going to see what sort of RPM this is putting out. I think it's supposed to be around about 5000 RPM um, to be effective so we'll turn it on and see. This one only goes up to 2000 but I should get an idea. We'll start off there that's about a third RPM. Um, going off the scale there a bit, so around about 22, 2300 RPM. Probably 5000 will be up around there somewhere. So I think that's about 5,000 RPM there. Let's see it's coming around the top there. It's all to do with the speed that it goes through as well. So I'm just sort of experimenting with the speed of the rotor and the 
how fast it's dripping in there. So that's all the diesel through. It's still pretty filthy. It hasn't taken the finer particles out. But we'll turn it off and see what comes out of this spout down here because this is where all the rubbish comes out this end. So we'll see how bad that is. It's coming down. Yeah. You can see it has taken a lot out of there. Look at the side of that. So yeah, it does work. It definitely gets um, a lot of the rubbish out. Well, I had expected it to clean up a bit more than that actually, but I suppose there's like a lot of rust powder and all sorts of stuff in there that um, have come off the parts when I wash them. You wouldn't put that through a vehicle, but I think it would be alright for a, like a diesel burner or something. Yeah, I can actually feel quite a bit of grit in there as well. Like fine, sort of sandy stuff. Right, so I've got some old hydraulic oil which came out of the Hoff 30. Um, it's had a bit of rust in it and all sorts of bits and pieces. And you can see it's got a bit of moisture in there as well. Yeah, we'll see how it cleans that up. Yeah, that's coming out quite clean actually. It's, it's got some air bubbles in it, but it's, it's a lot cleaner than it was. I can't see any particles in there. See what sort of rubbish is left in there when it winds down. There we go. Yeah, it's going to run out there pretty slow. Oh, yeah, you can see the rubbish in there, man. There's all sorts. Bits of old seals and dirt and all sorts of stuff in there. It's taken a lot of rubbish out of there, and also there's a lot of water in there too. So it does separate some of the water out by the looks of it. And um, rust and dirt and all sorts of bits and pieces. But yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Look at that. Right, let's have a look at, see how clean that is. Yeah, that's looking pretty clean. There's no bits in it, but yeah, there's a bit of moisture in there still by the look of it. So I think you'd probably have to heat it up to get that out. It's definitely got its place. It's ideal for cleaning up oil like that that's been sitting in a hydraulic tank in an old machine. Um, get all the bits out of it and yeah, put it back in. But yeah, I, I wouldn't reuse that in a ten, twenty thousand dollar machine. But uh, it's okay in an old tractor. Yeah, as far as um, cleaning up fuel, I mean, I've heard some people use them for um, black diesel. Like, they, they clean up old diesel motor oil in one of these and then add add it to the diesel. Um, I think it's like 50-50 or something, and, um, and they run that through the vehicle, but I'm not sure I'd want to really do that. You end up stuffing the fuel pump, I think, after a while. But yeah, if, if um, fuel gets much more expensive, I'd definitely look into it. So I did that lot in about probably 15-20 minutes, um, it would have been about 8 litres. Maybe that's too fast, I mean if you had it constantly circulating all day, I think it would come up quite clean. Have two 20 litre containers going from one to the other with a circulating pump in the middle 
and um, yeah just let it run all day or for days uh, and just have it dripping through quite slowly it wouldn't cost me anything in power because it's um, being powered by the hydro turbine so yeah you could just leave it ticking away in the background uh, even if you had a heater in the circuit so they're heating the oil uh, and circulating it yeah I reckon it would it would clean up quite nicely so yeah I might have another play with it when I've got more time thanks for watching guys catch you next time uh, look who's come to visit there's old thunder g'day mate g'day big fella jesus he's big <laughs> this is uh, Rambro's son an old angry ram from years ago this is his, one of his sons and he's got big Look at the nose wrinkles. Oh. And his, his family. Uh, she needs shearing. And he's got a massive big pad on top of his head. You've been fighting, have you? Hey. So he's basically roams around wild in, in the forest. But, uh, I see him a couple of times a year. You've got to be a bit careful with him. He's, um, he's a pretty powerful unit. Come down to mow the lawns, eh? I think you're even bigger than old Rambro. Man, he's solid.